Now this is a procedure which is going to be done for a few types of ovarian carcinoma. So which are the areas where we will be doing a risk reducing salpingo ophrectomy. It is done in the germline mutations. So which kind of germline mutations? BRCA1, BRCA2 and the BRIP1 mutations. Now these are the common mutations for will you will be doing a risk reducing salpingo ophrectomy. These are all germline mutations that cause an increased risk of developing epithelial ovarian carcinoma. So whenever we have a high risk of developing epithelial ovarian carcinoma, we do a prophylactic salpingo ophrectomy which is known as a risk reducing salpingo ophrectomy. They may ask you which are the following for which RRSO is done except. So P53 is not an area where epithelial ovarian cancers are common. So here you may not do a risk reducing salpingo ophrectomy. So when you have the hereditary breast ovarian cancer syndrome due to BRCA1, BRCA2 and also another mutation in the form of the BRIP1 mutation, you will go for a risk reducing salpingo ophrectomy. Next question that comes is what is the age at which you will do it? Usual age is after childbearing. When you take a breast cancer in hereditary breast ovarian carcinoma, the risk of developing breast cancer starts as early as the 30s. Somewhere in the 30 to 35 age group is when you will get it as breast cancer for hereditary breast ovarian cancer. The risk of breast cancer happens in 30 to 35 years of age. On the other hand, if you take up epithelial ovarian cancers, here it is going to happen in the 40s. 